This course teaches you how to use algebra. Algebra is a series of math tricks you learn that help you solve all sorts of problems. And you have to know it to do any level of higher math because they all expect you to remember your algebra skills. Let's start with the four basic skills of algebra. Addition. X is an unknown. X plus 4 equals 12. We want to know what X is. The logic is I am adding a 4 to my variable, but I don't want that 4 with the variable. I want to move it to the other side of the equal sign so that I can get my variable isolated, alone. Since I am adding 4, what is the best way to get, it, get rid of that 4? You do the opposite. You subtract 4. If you add 4 and then subtract 4, they cancel out. The rule of algebra, though, is if you subtract 4 on the left side, you have to subtract 4 on the right side. These cancel and you end up with x equals 12 minus 4, which is 8. You have your answer. Now, subtraction. x minus 4 equals 12. What is x? We have this minus 4 with our x. We don't want it there. We want to isolate the x. So, we do the opposite. x minus 4 plus 4 would be the opposite of minus 4. But if we're going to do a plus 4 on the left, we have to do a plus 4 on the right. These cancel. And we end up with x equals 12 plus 4, which is 16. We have our answer. The adding and subtracting rules are pretty much the same thing. You just do the opposite in order to eliminate the number, and that results in the number going to the other side of the equal sign. Multiplication. 4 times x equals 12. Our x will be multiplied by a 4. We want to do the opposite so we can get rid of it. So we divide by 4, because division is the opposite of multiplication. If we're going to divide the left side of the equation by 4, we must divide the right side by 4. The 4s cancel. Our x is isolated, which is what we wanted, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. We have our answer. Division. x divided by 4 equals 12. What is x? If I am dividing my x by 4, I want to do the opposite. I want to multiply it by 4. So we multiply 4 by that left side. If we're multiplying the left side by 4, we have to multiply the right side by 4. These cancel. X is now isolated and is equal to 12 times 4, which is 48. So the rule of algebra, regardless of which operation you're doing, is you look at the number that is with your variable that you wish you could move to the other side. You look at how it's being put with your variable, and you do the opposite, which will cancel it out. But always obey the rule. If you do something on the left side of the equals, you must do the exact same thing on the right side of the equals in order to keep the equation the same. This will result in you isolating your variable and you have your answer as soon as it's alone. Now that we know the four basic rules of algebra, we have to address a few special cases. This is one of them. Your variable is part of an algebraic expression, which is an enumerator of this big fraction. I call it a giant fraction. What do you do when you have a giant fraction? What you do is you look at the denominator of the fraction, and you say, my expression is being divided by a 2. If I multiply both sides by a 2, then I can cancel that denominator. <coughs> All that's left on the left side is now x plus 4. I no longer have the giant fraction. This is 14. And now I can just do the basic steps to continue to the end of the problem. x plus 4 minus 4 equals 14 minus 4. These cancel, x equals 10, I have my answer. The next special case we deal with is brackets. What do you do when you have a bracket inside the algebraic expression you're trying to simplify? Let's look at this example. 3 open bracket x minus 7 equals 6. All this means is that you're doing a multiplication, but you're not just multiplying that 3 by the x. You have to multiply that 3 by the whole bracket. And the way you do that is you multiply the 3 by each of the things inside the bracket one by one. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. And now we go back to our basic skills of algebra. We want to get this minus 21 away from the x in order to get the x alone. So we write 3x minus 21 plus 21 equals 6 plus 21. These cancel. 3x equals 27. Now divide both sides by 3. Cancel, cancel, and x equals 9. You have your answer. 
What if you have a long expression like this with brackets in it? You have to be careful. You have to say to yourself, I want to do these multiplications to get rid of the brackets before I try to answer the final question. This is negative 2. Because it is being subtracted, it's a negative 2 that's being multiplied by the contents of this bracket. So I say x. Negative 2 times x is minus 2x. And negative 2 times 3 is minus 6. Notice how this sign seems to change because of the negative number being multiplied by the positive. Here we have negative 3 times x, that's minus 3x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. That sign also seems to change. You have to be very careful with the signs of the values inside your brackets.